want a second look. Yeah. There's something about this one, isn't there? Familiar somehow. We think we're stuck in a specific fragment of time that we've been repeating that same fragment over and over. Again. But the flirting's over, sir. Look, Daddy's having a nice Hello and welcome to You've Seen It Before, TV reviews of the connections in mine. Star Trek Lower Decks has dropped all 10 episodes of its second season on Paramount+. Plus. It is continuing right off from the events of the first season of Lower Decks, and we see once again that we are following the Lower Decks and the, uh, the entire crew of the USS Cerritos, and uh, the interpersonal conflicts that arise from them, such as... Um, uh, Tendi and Rutherford having their, their, uh, their relationship uh, problems what, now that Rutherford doesn't remember her. Um, uh, Mariner being upset that Boimler is still on the USS Titan. And Boimler getting, uh, saying he wants to transfer back to the, uh, uh, to the Cerritos at a certain point. All these things crop up in, uh, in so many more during this season. This review will contain spoilers of Star Trek Lower Decks Season 2. I'll do my spoiler-free thoughts uh, first up, but um, there'll be some there'll be some spoilers uh, later on down the road. But uh, before I do that, let's get into some spoiler-free talk on season two of Star Trek: Lower Decks. Is it worth the watch? Is it as good as the first season, or better, worse? I don't know. Let's uh, let's dive into that. I would say, as far as quality goes uh, of this season compared to the previous season, uh, I would say. This is definitely on par and probably a little bit better than the original season. And part of that is um, one of the, my big gripes about the, uh, the first season of Star Trek Lower Decks is that the, uh, the, uh, the pr propensity to just say, here, here's a reference, Do you, uh, laugh because it's a reference that you get. Um, I just don't find that funny, really. Some of them I find them funny, but 95% of those were just like, okay, yeah, you referenced that, good for you, let's move on. And it didn't feel like they had much else uh, besides that on a lot of their episodes in the first season. The second season, there's still that bit uh, element of it, but that's toned way down. And I feel like that's to this, uh, the series' benefit, because they can focus on the interpersonal conflicts between... Um, uh, between the characters, you know, Rutherford Tendy, uh, Mariner Boimler, even the senior staff, um, uh, there's, uh, there's a lot, uh, there's a lot that they, they, it feels like they do a lot, but, uh, but not really a lot, if that makes sense. Um, I will say this, this isn't a necessarily substantive, um, uh, Star Trek series. This is very, very much a comedy, but that's that's okay. It's okay to have just a lighthearted comedic Star Trek um, uh, set series, and I feel like this uh, the series knows it and knows enough to have fun with these different elements that Star Trek has given us over the past uh, sixty years, uh, and this uh, it knows how to um, uh, to just bask in some things and have fun and. Um, while I feel like one of its, uh, its biggest weaknesses as well is it can't really do serious very well. And we'll get into some spoiler stock, uh, talk later, but um, this, uh, this series, probably some of my favorite things are just... Uh, the animation itself is, is gorgeous, I will say. And um, this just goes to show that the imagination that you can put into this animated series um, just goes to show one of the weak... Uh, I mean... The design of the ships alone is just incredible. I love all the, the various designs of the ships. Makes you wonder why, at the end of Star Trek Picard Season 1, they just copy-pasted the same ship 200 times. Why would they do that? And when they could just uh, have all the creative uh, latitude that you can with this. I don't know why. But that just goes to show that this, uh, this series knows its strengths, for the most part. And it leads into them, especially with the comedy. The comedy... Um, no, I feel like no comedy series bats a thousand with their jokes. Um, uh, but as far as, uh, as far as I'm concerned, most of the jokes were, um, again, I feel like I made this point when I talked about star, uh, season one of Lower Decks. Most of the jokes in here 
were not, you know, laugh out loud, riotous, uh, uh, riotous laugh jokes. A lot of them were just, you know, <laughs> that's that's funny, and then and then you move on. Um, and as far as comedy goes, there's, uh, I'd rather just have, you know, a <laughs> that's funny and move on uh, kind of joke rather than a joke that doesn't do anything. And the percentage of jokes that just didn't do anything was lower than season one, in my opinion, but it was still kind of high. I'd say about 20% of the jokes, in my opinion, were like that, and probably 70% uh, of the rest of the jokes were just kind of the, <laughs> okay. Maybe 10% of the jokes were actually got a laugh out loud laugh out of me. And and nearly all, uh, all those were had nothing to do with, um, with Star Trek, per se. They were just, you know, I feel like they were almost like sitcom-esque uh, jokes, and uh, as far as as far as they you know, uh, a situation comedy uh, rather than uh, I feel like that's pure uh, pure comedy in my opinion. And I love that. Um, and again, the animation is great. Uh, really, I don't have a whole lot to say about this series other than it's fun. Go watch it if you're a Star Trek fan. Uh, if you've watched all the series and. Uh, whether you're a, a casual viewer of the start of Star Trek, or if you're going to, uh, if you're like know everything there is to know about the Star Trek universe, there's something for everyone, to, uh, every Star Trek fan to enjoy in this series, and I feel like you're going to enjoy it as well. So if I was going to give Star Trek Lower Deck season two a letter grade, I would say this is a solid A minus. Um, again, there's still, uh, and we'll get into the reason why that uh, made it a minus rather than just regular A in my spoiler section here. But overall, yeah, A minus. Definitely a good show. Go check it out. Uh, I'm I'm interested to see what happens in season three. So with that in mind, let's get into some spoiler talk as to, uh, into Star Trek Lower Decks. And as far as um, talking about you know things that seem familiar and where you've seen them before, I feel like that's sort of a moot point just because I don't really want to talk about you know oh there's this reference that's from this Star Trek film or there's this reference and that's from that Star Trek episode. It's like there are plenty of other videos that have gone uh, through all of those. I, uh, my, I would recommend looking at uh, Trek Culture, uh, their Ups and Downs series, uh, to go through all of those. Um, uh, if you want to do like the, the Easter eggs and references on that front. But as far as, you know, uh, things, there are a lot of things that you can go that have gone through uh, that you've seen before in, uh, in this season overall. Uh, but... As far as spoiler talk, one of the things, and the reason why I said I was going to make this an A minus rather than just regular A, uh, is why I said that this film, the series, doesn't necessarily do serious very well, and that has to do with the season two finale, where it is in fact a cliffhanger, and it's a serious moment where um, Captain Freeman is, uh, you know, put in irons for a uh, for a crime that she obviously did not commit. And she's actually led past all of her crew in irons and taken away by Starfleet security, and then just says to be continued. It's like, man, and in a uh, in a live action, uh, if that happened in you know Next Generation or Voyager or something, that would be an effective cliffhanger. This, I don't think it really works. Don't get me wrong; it makes me interested to see what happens in season three. But as far as you know, a gut punch uh, cliffhanger goes, no. As far as I'm concerned, that did not work. So, that's those are my main... Again, this is going to be a shorter review just because I don't have a whole ton to talk about other than it's fun and the animation is good. Uh, but, yeah, if you haven't seen it before, go check it out. And if you have seen it, what did you think of Star Trek Season 2, uh, Lower Deck Season 2? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate whatever audience I can get. Uh, be sure to check out my movie review for Dune 2021. Uh, that's out uh, on my channel now, as well as uh, look forward to my next uh, TV review, which will be for, uh, I believe, uh, once I get all the episodes of uh, Hawkeye out, I'll be doing that, as well as I'm going to be doing a episode uh, reaction series to each and every episode of Star Trek Discovery Season 4, which is coming out very soon here, so be sure to look for that. And uh, if you like this video or any other video on my channel, please give me a like, share, and especially subscribe. I'd very much appreciate it. Again, thank you for watching. But just remember, there is nothing new under the sun. And yes, you have seen it before.